Hello there. Thanks so much for joining me. Day number two. And I'm going to tell you what, my shoulders are feeling it, especially like in the middle of my back. So mission accomplished, right? I hope you're sore too, because that's the point of this. So if you want to skip a day in between these, I completely understand, but we're going to just jump right in. I do not know how many days this is going to be it, but I'm thinking four. We are going to need some blocks, so go ahead and pause me and grab your blocks if you haven't already, preferably the same size blocks. You don't want one littler than the other. We're going to start this one in a child's pose. So go ahead and meet me on your mat in your most delicious child's pose. You can bring the knees wider apart or have them together. I'm going to leave the choice to you. And we're going to walk the hands forward here, really getting that shoulder stretch on. You're probably going to feel this in those outer shoulders, and that's exactly what we're going for. And we're just going to connect with the breath for a second before we start moving. So just taking a nice round. And we're going to thread this right hand over towards the left, so a little thread the needle in our child's pose action. Keeping the left reaching front, right palm is facing up. You're going to feel this on the outer shoulder, and the more you press your chest down, the more you're going to get the stretch in the back of the shoulder. So nudge the shoulder blades in the middle of the spine. So just keep pressing down on that left side, and you'll continue to deepen the stretch. We're just going to take three rounds of breath here. Beautiful. On your next inhale, we're slowly going to unravel. Right hand goes out front, and now we're going to thread this left one over towards the right. Once again, right hand's reaching forward, left palm is up, reaching towards the right side. And we're pulling that right chest down to deepen the stretch in the shoulder blades in the back. And we're here for three breaths. And slowly, on your next inhale, we unravel, bringing that left arm back towards the front. Coming through the child's pose here. And then we'll peel up. We're just going to take some neck stretches, so sitting back on your heels here. And let's drop right ear, right shoulder. Bring the chin to chest. Left ear, left shoulder. And back down through center, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder, and again, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder, and this time we're going to take it all the way back, looking up, stretching through the front of the neck, and slowly coming back to center. Let's go ahead and get our wrist warm up so we can go ahead and come forward into an all fours position. And once you get here, let's just take some forwards and rock, forwards and backwards rocks here, gripping through the mat. Feeling those wrists when your elbows come over. Beautiful. Point the fingers at the outer edges of the mat here, and let's go ahead and just rock side to side. And of course, let's go ahead and point the fingers towards the knees. 
maybe tucking the toes here and really rocking big rocks forwards and backwards here, really getting into these wrists, these forearms it should feel wonderful. And let's go ahead and sit back on the heels and roll these wrists out, going one way. And reverse that roll, going the other way. Beautiful job. We're going to come back into our all fours position here. We're going to kick that right foot back and open up into gate pose. So left hand goes up towards the sky. If you want, you can pivot on this knee, but we're not going to be here long. We're just getting this nice stretch here, warming up that shoulder. Breathing. And if it feels good, you can go ahead and take that right leg out and stack that left foot on that right. Take that left arm up and we're going to do reaches. So we're reaching towards the back of the room. So a little thread the needle action here. Let's just do five. So one. Slow and controlled. Two. If you fall, it's okay. Three. If you're finding this hard to balance, you can put the left foot a little bit ahead of that right foot. Four. We got this one more and five. Beautiful job. Now we're going to step this left foot back. Wild thing. So we're going to push the hips up, kind of revolve the chest open towards the ceiling here. We're breathing. We're not holding or clenching the breath. Back to side plank here. Now, if you like extended side plank, grab that big toe. Otherwise, you can take tree here. Take your gaze towards the top of the mat and big step to the outer edge of the mat with that left foot. Lizard. So we're staying up here. So we can bring the upper body a little bit over towards the right here. And let's do some push-ups. So lower down. And back up, slow and controlled. Lower down and back up. Lower down, back up. And one more, lower down, back up. We can go ahead and walk these hands back into the center. And we're going to step this left foot back to meet the right. And we're going to take a couple normal push-ups. If you need to lower down your knees, be my guest. Otherwise, we're going to take the gaze forward, hug the elbows into the ribs, and then push back up. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Whew. And downward facing dog. Go ahead and take a big bend in the knees here to get a super nice stretch in the shoulders. Roll forward, lower the knees down, and we're back in our all fours. Let's go ahead, sit back on the heels, roll the wrist out, reverse the roll, maybe shake them out if that feels good. Resetting for the next side. Whew, okay, come forward. We're starting with plank on this other side. So right foot kicks back. You can kick stand on this left foot, right hand up and overhead. Open it up here. Beautiful gate pose. Stretching through that right shoulder here. Okay, coming in for our side plank here. Whichever way you did it on the other side, we're going to try that again. So right hand up towards the sky. And we're going to do those reaches, slow and controlled. So reach through for one, two, three, four, breathing, I'm not losing control of that breath, five, and back in the plank. Go ahead and step that right foot back, push the hips up, 
chest lifts, wild thing. Take up the space, feel the breath move. And back to plank. You take an extended side plank, one-legged plank, tree pose, and then big step to the outer edge of that right side. Lizard, ah, you got this. Finding this lizard. Walking the hands towards the left here, coming in for those little push-ups. Lower and lift. Noticing the difference between sides. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. I got one more. Lower and lift. Whew, beautiful. Walk them back to the middle. Step the right foot back, and we're taking our push ups. One, two, three, four. Trying to keep your form up. Five. Downward facing dog. I'm sure men are laughing. Men should take 10 push ups. Y'all are always so much better at the upper body work as women struggle with push ups. So just taking a breath here. If you need to take child's pose, please be my guest. Whatever is going to work best for you here. And if you're like, this is not hard enough, go ahead and drop down into dolphin. Just hold it there. We're just going to be here for three rounds of breath. Beautiful job. Everybody's going to meet down dog. And once you get there, we're going to come into our dolphin. So come into the forearms. Taking the gaze towards your thumbs here. If you want to walk the feet in, great. If not, that's okay. Just breathing. And we're going to bring the knee towards the thumb. <laughs> the knee. The nose. The nose is going to come towards the thumbs for our dolphin push-ups. I'm just going to do five of them. If you want ten, go for it. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Come back up. We are coming through plank. Go ahead and lift that right leg up. One-legged plank. Go ahead and come onto the forearms. One legged forearm plank. And now we're gonna have fun. We're gonna come trying to like hop this left foot up. So now we're in a dolphin one leg. Pushing through the shoulders, allowing the shake, allowing the sweat. Woo! <laughs> Beautiful push up, down dog. And let's all go into child's pose. Man. Breathing. You should be proud of yourself for attempting this. Proud of yourself for wanting to build strength. We can do hard things. All we have to do is try. <sighs> Wonderful job. We're all going to take one more round of breath here. And we're going to come back. We can sit through this kneeling position. Maybe take those wrist rolls again. I'm hot. And we're going to 
we're coming back for all of that again with the opposite legs. So let's go ahead, come in, down dog first. Go ahead and drop the arms, drop to the forearms, maybe walking the feet in. And let's take those dolphin push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Come through plank. Lift that other leg up, so one-legged plank. Breathe. Lower down to the forearm, so one-legged forearm plank. Same thing, maybe trying to hop that leg, right leg forward some, one-legged dolphin. Breathe. One more round of breath. Ooh, and slowly coming back down to child's pose. Wow. Way to go. Hard part's not over yet. Okay, maybe the hard part is over. Playtime is next, so <laughs> hard part's over. So we'll go ahead and say that. And I'm sweating. And my arms feel like jello. That's what we came here for, right? Mm. Well, I'll take one more round of breath here. Slowly, I'll peel up. So today's fun. Play time. <laughs> now we did the grabbing the blocks and really tucking in the body. So it was like a compression, which most arm balances kind of are a compression. This time we're going to try for like a firefly, but we don't have to straighten the legs. So we're going to come into a standing wide legged fold. Okay, hands are on the blocks here. About middle of the mat. Take a few rounds of breath here. And we're going to bring these legs over the elbows, okay? So this is going to look a little different for everybody. Some of y'all may be laughing at me thinking that how do you expect me to do that? But we're just playing. We're not taking ourselves so seriously. So if you're here, just wrap the feet in, okay? You don't have to extend them. If it feels good, you can play with extending them. You don't have to, though. Like I said, this is still whoo, causing a cramp in my belly. Okay, so if that happens, we sit back, we breathe, we stretch. Okay, because cramped muscles bound to happen. Breathe. Lift through the chest. Let the belly know it's okay, not a big deal. And look, she releases. Just give the body a moment to understand what craziness we're trying to accomplish here. So let's try it one more time. So you can bring the blocks in closer and your feet will actually wrap easier around each other. <laughs> just wherever you are, laugh about it. We're playing. We're just having fun. This is not to be taken seriously, okay? All right. Well, that's official. We're coming in for the wall hold. Okay. Handstand, headstand, doesn't matter. We're just going to use the wall as support. You know, I've got the headstand and the handstand video if you need to go to that. Otherwise, 60 seconds here. I'm just going to count in my head this time.
breathe halfway Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're coming into puppy. If you want to take the blocks, so deepen our puppy stretch here. Just take them out in front of you. Hands on them. Walk the knees back. And then allow the chest to drop here. Just come in here for a few rounds of breath. You're amazing. Talk love to yourself. Be graceful with yourself. Beautiful job. Slowly, we're going to come out. We're just going to meet in the comfortable seat here. And we're going to inhale those arms up. Take the gaze up and let's open them up into cactus arms here. Big expansiveness. And give yourself a hug. Right arm on top. Grab for those shoulder blades. Big open here, cactus those arms, and then big hug, left arm on top. And then now those arms to come up again, palms touch. And exhale it down to heart center. The light in me honors and acknowledges that brightness inside of you. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this one doesn't leave you too sore. Remember, we've got tons of upper body stretches on the channel. So if later on today or even tomorrow morning you feel like you just need a stretch, please go and find one. There are lots of them. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do leave a comment. Let me know how this went for you and how you're liking this or not liking the upper body work. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day.